What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you hanging out, waiting for the chat uh, that were waiting for the chat to start, I appreciate that. I really do. Those of you stopping by, catching the replay, though, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications when we do these chats. You can take part right along with me, guys. Let me know what's the audio like. Switched it up, got a blue yeti, got tired of all that microphone bullshit with my Elgato Wave Three. I've had it for a few years. I don't. It, it wasn't the cord. It was a connection thing with on the back of the microphone. So I switched it up. Uh, let me know. If, we're all good in the audio because I just have it slightly adjusted. I can always tweak. It's the first stream with it because uh, I trust me. I know about all the popping in the review videos and stuff like that. It's been driving me nuts, too, and there's nothing I could do about it at the time. But we're good now. Got a different mic. So I love that wave three on average. Joe had one the first time we did a live stream together. I was like, I like your audio and that mic looks cool. So I bought that a couple of years ago, even though most people use the Blue Yeti. And I actually got a blue, blue Yeti. So we're all good. For those of you jumping in, though, just now, hit that thumbs up for me. Let me know. We are going to start around the 10 or so minute mark. We've got three of the new releases. Paris Corner, the new Caramel Cascade. Curious to check that one out. Pear Potion, Mango Punch, no secret how I am about the mango fragrances. So that's probably the one I'm most excited about. Uh, these were sent to me by the good folks at Aroma Concepts. Haven't gotten anything in a little while from them. If it's shit, I tell you shit. If it's good, I tell you good. So it is what it is. Just because they send it, that, just because it's free doesn't mean it's going to be good. It's going to be good if it's good. So just want to throw that out there. A little quick disclaimer for anybody watching the replay. Those of you that are here regulars in the chat live, you already know that. You hang out on my channel all the time. So let's get caught. Oh, before I go. Lamal Lover. I've been seeing in the forums a lot of homophobes out there that are complaining because I know it means the man lover. Lamal Lover. Jean-Paul Gaultier is gay. Get over it. <laughs> so, so what? The fragrance is solid, though. The, the bottle color is fitting. It's a blue fragrance, vanilla pepper, ambroxan, a little bit of a bubblegummy smell to it, just a little bit. It's kind of radiating off my skin. I got four sprays around the neck. I like it. I think it's good. Doesn't bother me that it's a gay man's brand. My best friend's gay. Who, who cares? Get over it. It's 2024, guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's bad, the kind of stuff I've been seeing about this. Unbelievable. Smells good, though. I think it's a solid fragrance. Is it special? No, definitely not. It's not It's not the best Lamal flanker they've released in a while. Um, Elixir's better. Um, Le Parfum's better. What else is a recent one that came out that would be, I mean, Essence Le Parfum's better, but that came out several years ago. Hell, even uh, in the Navy, in some ways, is better because it's kind of like Aquatic Eros. For those of you who like Eros and you want Aquatic Eros, get in the Navy. It's a great flanker. Um, that's kind of my take on it. And then I also heard, uh, cause I haven't seen Ashton's video, but I heard he kind of poo pooed on it a little bit. So naturally nobody wants to give it a chance. So shout outs to Ashton and his influential power. It's going to be wanted tonic all over again. <laughs> I told him the last, I mean, it's been a while since I've talked to him, but I told him, I said, people hang on your words sometimes, man. When you, if you shit on the fragrance, it ruins the fragrance. And here you go. So guys try it for yourself. Not everybody's going to like everything the same. I like it. I don't recommend blind buying it, though. It could be very redundant in your collection. So let's get caught up in the chat. That was a lot to say in the intro. I get it. Mr. M.A. Styles, good to see you, sir. Get that pinned. Bulgari Aquamarine. That's a great fragrance. All of the fragrances in that line are good. One with Monarch Red Tobacco Vanilla. That's great. If you can find that at Marshall's and TJ Maxx, more of a vanilla-heavy red tobacco, basically. Ooh, Blockade. You are smelling good, Spencer. Hit that like button. Let them know. Arrow's Flame, it's in the night most wanted. Percival, great fragrance. Neil, good to see you. Forbidden Plum, I'm going to be getting my sniff on a bit with eight ATH samples that came in today. Excellent choice. Signature Orem, speaking of excellent choices. Drew, good to see you, my man. I don't know if you saw the new Amberful and Eternal Wood perfume from Mansara and new water based pearl infused perfume from Zerzhoff. I did not. You're wearing a great fragrance, though, with Layton. No, this is the first I'm hearing of them. Kadlaj Shiaka. That is a great fragrance. Smells very, very close to Reflection Man. So that Essence, and then Tobacco Exclusive. Good to see you, Paul. F Le Parfum and 
rote testing King of Diamonds on one hand, and it's been challenging to the deep dry down, but growing on me. Hope you're all having, uh, I'm not even going to, Fanda Bidozi, Fanda Bidozi Day. I've never heard that word before. But all right, then Dan, not the man, Invictus Legend. Great choice. Good to see you, Terrence, the Harmonious Velvet Fire. So I went to my P.O. box today. I got that decan. I got the package. I didn't open it yet. I mean, Randy sent me a decan of Narcotic Delight I still haven't opened. I'm kind of gathering these little decants people are sending me together and to do some more live streams with. Good to see you, sir. What's your take on the cost block, Old Fresh or O Intense scent-wise? Uh, Old Fresh is, as implied, very, very bright and fresh. The Intense is my favorite. Uh, it's more orange than grapefruit, a lot, of, lot more leather, um, but still very fresh. The O Intense is my favorite version of the cost block. Very cold and windy day over here. Center of the day, Territoire Privé, clone of CH Men Privé. CH Men Privé is good stuff. Very, very good fragrance. Your Om O, Juan, you're flexing. You're flexing on people. That's one of the greatest Irish fragrances of all time, according to me. I don't think the Yeti is working, and then the next comment says audio works great. So which one is it? Is the audio not working? And I've been talking this whole time. I'm seeing feedback. <laughs> I'm seeing feedback on, from the microphone. So, and then the next comment, Neil, what is it? Neil? It must be you. It might have been you. You had it mute audio, your volume turned down or something. I don't know. But thank you. I'm glad somebody let me know audio's audio's good. I appreciate that. Bus bottled elixir, compliment monster. Hell yeah. Gentlemen, EDT intense. I need to go back to that one. I haven't worn it since I got it. Vanilla Oud. Man, you're killing the game, sir. Guerlain Lom Ideal EDP. I can't wait to get the part from. Polo Blue. Timeless. Audio seems underwhelming compared to normal. Sound like you're in a can. Okay, thank you. Doesn't sound like the audio is coming from the mic. Should be. Let me adjust it. This is the kind of feedback I need. So I'm going to have to skip ahead because I want to do this on the fly with you guys. So I'm sorry. I'm skipping a ton of comments to get to the main part. It sounds fine my way. Okay. How does it sound now? Because there's there's four different settings here before I start messing with gain and volume. Somebody let me know. What does it sound like now? I'm sorry. We got to do this on the fly. This brand new mic. First round with it. I see a thumbs up from Anna for Joel. Oh, that's saying hello to Joel. Better, less raspy. Hmm. Because I don't have any audio feedback. Still sounds off. Hmm. Clear on my end. Hmm. So I'm getting mixed replies here. Sounds good to me. Press football wise. <laughs> it's hard to hear that, man. Sounds like you're in a can. Did you hear that? See, so he said tap on the mic. Because it's, it's set to it's set to the Yeti. It's weird. Okay, definitely. It's like an auxiliary mic and not a main mic. That's weird. So let me try. Because I, I haven't been able to adjust it. I got to do it on the fly with you guys. Doesn't sound Well, it's a different mic. This is a different mic. 100% good. No problem at all. So it's, hmm. Uh, I don't even know. I didn't read anything. I literally two minutes before this stream was able to get it out the box because I saw it got delivered and I went run to the mailbox to go get it. So I didn't have a chance. Better now. Better. Way better. Okay. So it was adjusting the cardioid. So the pattern, I don't know which one it is, but the, the dual circles. I don't know if you know the difference between that. That it's the circles that are right on top of one another. So it's all the way to the right. So I know a ton of people have this one. I can even hear you in Amsterdam. So it was too far away is what it was. Thank you, Rick. Big room, no sound detonation is clashing much better now. So am I too loud? Do I need to turn it down, by the way, now that we got that figured out? I've seen the new before, but you put it closer. T sounds great. How's this? Because I was trying to keep it out the shot. Because I know Justin has it like up close. Is this better? Ten times better now. 
Yeah, because I appreciate you guys helping me out. I'm sorry this is the beginning of the stream, but I mean, it's a brand new mic. I've never used the Blue Yeti, and I didn't have time to do some testing back and forth to really get it locked down. It's loud like that. So let me turn the volume down then. How about now? Is this better? Mute button's right here. Uh, I don't know. Whenever the mood strikes me. No, that's my reviewer. <laughs> I appreciate that. So everybody sounds like mosquitoes. Well, damn. Blue Yetters are good. Just take some time to find what works best for you. Thought you were an imposter. Just kidding. So so we're all good now. Can I move on? Is it good? You're good enough, guys, for now? Can we? Is it good enough to go through this one stream? You guys let me know. That way, that way we could we can move on. If not, we'll keep adjusting. You you guys let me know. I want to be a I want it to be a good experience for everyone here. You know what I mean? So you guys let me know. Good to see you, Rafe. Hope y'all well, smell amazing. Been working two jobs. I haven't caught a live in weeks. That beach geezer, Coco Moon. Well, I will, but that's the thing. I don't want it to be, you know, irritating for you guys the whole time. Good enough to talk about clones. <laughs> I'd say same as old setup right now. I'll allow it. We'll move on. Okay, good. I've been looking all over for Cologne Heavy Men's Fragrance Screaming Ocean without a bunch of spice. Uh, no, no ideas. Um, let's see. Good to see you. Yes, good. We can handle it. Okay. Uh, not as much lately. Not as much uh, in the last week or so. We've had pretty bad weather, and then I had family in town. But let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? So the one I'm most excited, I guess we should go with the heavier one first since the other two are fresh. But Tasquine Caramel Cascade. I have a feeling it's going to lean a bit feminine, but I don't know until I bust it open, spray it, and try it out. Let's see what we're working with, shall we? Let's go on my little John voice. I appreciate that. Most wanted parfum. Visiting New Orleans for the first time. Is there a good local place to buy fragrances? I never do fragrance shopping when I'm in New Orleans, so I couldn't help you. I'm, I'm online shopping, guys. Let's see what we're working with. So my wife has all the other Tasquine fragrances that we got because they tend to be very feminine. This this line in general is pretty feminine. That's why I'm assuming it's going to be a feminine leaning fragrance. Bottle's definitely the color. So the others are the other two that she has is pretty fruity overall, fruity fresh with a little bit of florals. Let's see what we're working with here. Good sprayer. Oh, that is rich, believable caramel. That is delicious. Wow. Sweet cream, but I got thick syrupy caramel when it was out in the air. Now it's more like, um, kind of like the smell of if you were to open a Milky Way and you have the fluffy nougat with a nice thin layer of the liquefied caramel. It's like that. I, get, I don't just get caramel. It's like caramel and nougat. That's what it smells like to me. That's all I can think of right now. Too feminine? No. Like a candy bar? Absolutely. Do you want to smell like a candy bar? This is the question you have to ask, ask yourself. I can't see myself wanting to wear this. I don't know if my wife's going to like it. It smells very realistic to the inside of a Milky Way. So anybody that likes gourmands, very much a candy gourmand will like this. Not my style. Definitely not my style. Smells great. I just can't imagine walking around smelling like this all day. No. Very realistic. For what I'm telling you guys, it makes me think of. It's quite nice. It's just not something I would want to wear. Let's uh let's take a look at the notes. Here we go. It's the first thing on the on the page. Let's go to shop now. $34.99. Sold out. Damn, so I guess it's popular with the ladies right now. Caramel, milk, tonka bean, honey, vanilla, and white musk. Pretty straightforward. It smells like caramel and nougat. It smells like a Milky Way. 
I feel like as I'm sniffing this, like, you know, how you breathe through your nose a bit when you're taking a bite of a Milky Way. That's what I feel. That's what it's like. Milky Way is my favorite candy bar. My actual favorite candy, which is seasonal, is Cadbury caramel eggs. You see the trend to caramel? I love caramel. It's my my sweet treat of choice is always something caramel and chocolate. Uh, caramellos, Cadbury's year round, chocolate and caramel, but Cadbury caramel eggs. But when it's not around Easter, Milky Ways. So I'm about as familiar with Milky Ways as it gets. And that's what this smells like to me. Do you want to smell like a Milky Way? I think for the realism of it, it's a 7.5 out of 10. It's very good. It's very good for what it is. It's just not suitable for me. I wouldn't want to walk around smelling like a Milky Way all day. Now, those that like candy and gourmands and things like that would probably love this. If you're a caramel freak, you love the caramel scents. Milky, creamy caramel right here. Very believable. Very realistic. Paris Corner. They've been doing some really good work. This is just totally not for me. Induce, introducing our enchanting fragrance, a symphony of indulgence that captivates the senses. The caramel dream, eau de parfum. Immerse yourself in the luxurious embrace of this unique scent where every note tells the tale of sweet sophistication. At the top, experience the alluring blend of caramel and milk, a delight, a delightful introduction that sets the stage for the richness that unfolds. As the fragrance evolves, the heart reveals a captiva captivating fusion of tonka bean and honey, creating a warm and inviting essence that lingers delicately on your skin. So the honey and milk really make this like liquefied caramel, almost like a caramel syrup. You know what I mean? Like uh, the caramel drizzle you would add to, say, a caramel macchiato at Starbucks. That's my wife's drink of choice. So it's kind of like that kind of caramel. It's not like uh, the little caramel squares that are wrapped up, you know, the individual caramels. Not that kind of caramel. It's more like that creamy, syrupy kind of caramel. And nougat. Again, I go back to Milky Ways here. The journey culminates in a mesmerizing base of vanilla and white musk. These carefully chosen ingredients come together to form a harmonious composition that leaves an unforgettable impression. But the magic doesn't end there. The dry down un unveils the allure of caramel dream. As the fragrance settles, an irresistible hint of caramel and vanilla takes center stage, creating an indulgent and comforting aroma that lingers throughout the day. Yeah, in the world of sweetness and sophistication, embrace the magic dancing on your skin, leave an enchanting trail wherever you go. You got to really, really, really like caramel and kind of smells like that's why I keep saying Milky Way, caramel, chocolate, nougat. Or even um, like even the level of fluffiness in nougat that a Three Musketeers bar has. Then you add caramel to that, like more nougat than caramel on the top because of this milk and honey. I'm assuming probably this milk accord. It does smell really good. I just couldn't walk around wearing this all day, guys. I couldn't. 7.5 out of 10, though, because it's it's believable. It's very believable for somebody that likes this kind of stuff. Good to see you, Joel. Joel, I'm original. Can't go wrong there. Yes, because they're not the same. They, <sighs> Tonka Cola is almost like a stripped-down version of Enigma. Because Enigma is more about cognac and tobacco and florals and stuff like that. Like they have the cola vibe, but they're very different cola fragrances at the same time. Unique luxury acad academies. Is that how you say that? Ooh, Ambassador. Thanks for your honest reviews. How many in the chat have Zanzibar on the way? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, it is really good. Like literally yesterday's Sin of the Day post. Latafa messaged me and they're like, we're hoping this like turns into a love with a, and then after my review today, they said 8.5 out of 10 is pretty good. You know, maybe we're a little biased, but we feel when you factor in the price, it's a 10 out of 10. I said, well, with those 10 out of 10s, I said, don't hold your breath. And I said, cause I've only ever given one in 2,800 videos. I said, but I'm glad y'all enjoyed the video. So yeah, I actually have had some back and forth with Latafa. They're keeping an eye on the reviews. That's what, that's what I'm telling you. They're keeping an eye on the reviews guys. Um, so if they get a really bad one, I hope they take it in stride. It is a good fragrance, though. It's not, oh, my God. Like I said in my review, it's not, holy shit, guys, you have to buy this. But it is it is a great fragrance. Assad Zanzibar is indeed a great fragrance. 
And I've seen people say, I'm going to wait till it's 25 bucks. If it gets there, great. It might not get there because it's an original creation from them. So they might, you know, because the retail was only 49 bucks. I, I bought it from Latafa. And it's already the, the restocks tomorrow at Fragrance Buy, it's 37 bucks. It's really not that expensive. Like, do you really need to wait to try to save 10 more dollars? I mean, do your thing. If it interests you, is 10 bucks really the end of the world? To where you're like, I'm going to wait. And then six months pass, you're like, I'm still waiting. It's going to get in the 20s eventually. That might happen. You know, so that I, my advice is anybody that's actually interested in it, don't have it in your head that it's going to be 25 bucks one day because we don't know. It might be. It might not be. By no means is that saying you should buy it. Just if you're interested enough, because it's going to be a blind buy with Latafa. Just know that it's not a must have. I don't think anything's really a must have. It's just do you want it is what it comes down to. We're all adults. Everybody needs to take responsibility for their own purchases and not blame other people. You know, like, oh, I bought it because of your opinion. Well, that's bold. It's just a resource. It's not the end all be all. Caramel is one of my favorite notes. And if you like caramel a lot, you might like this. Be right back. I run to the post office. Going to listen and drive. I appreciate that, Kaylin. Be careful. You've done it again. Now I want to smell like a candy bar. I mean, it smells like Milky Way. Yes, this would make a great candle. It would make a great candle. Good to see you, Roy. There's off 1861 Maxos. Homeless all week, though. Fire climatic with a $10, $10 super chat. I appreciate that. French defense for the wife and herba pura for him. Damn, y'all are. Y'all are one bad smelling couple, boy. Man, and I appreciate the super chat, my guy. I'm glad you're able to make it. Uh, what do y'all have going on tonight? Y'all are definitely smelling great. Y'all uh, y'all going to hit the town somewhere this evening? Because uh, I'm not sure exactly where you're at. You might be in the Eastern time zone. If so, it's almost 630 where you're at. So y'all might be getting getting set to go somewhere. Because I know you're always out and about. I follow I follow Climatic on Instagram. So I see, see a lot of his activity. So thank you for the super chat, my man. Glad you're able to be here. Oh, Cadbury cream eggs are great, too. And the double chocolate ones. But my favorite is the caramel egg. So I had a high cal uh High carb day yesterday, and I had some eggs. I had some caramel eggs, and I had two chocolate eggs. Yeah, I had three three Cadbury caramel eggs and two Cadbury chocolate eggs. Yep. I substituted some rice on a couple of uh, <laughs> and some blueberries and a banana to counter some of the sugar. Like, I, if I'm going to do that, even on a high carb high carb day, a refeed day, technically, I substitute out. I swap it out. It's like, okay, this is still sugar, even though it's crap pro processed sugar. I got to sub out my natural sugars from my fruits <laughs> so to balance it out because I, I try to stick to my plan and substitute accordingly if I'm going to do something like that. So uh, so I had a, I you know, was kind of more of a normal human with the way I ate yesterday. And he's like, heavenly like, OK, you think Kajal Jury and Yasmina lean too feminine. Jury is definitely a bit more feminine. It's very honey floral heavy. Uh, Yasmina is super jasmine leather saffron. I think it's phenomenal and elegant. And most of the people that I know that own it are guys. Robert from Fragrance Journey 01. On average, Joe's a big fan of it. Uh, who else? Uh, I think EQ is a fan of that one as well. The quality fragrance is my man of boom. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. Mm. Those are the ones that come to mind. All guys that enjoy florals uh just know it's it's a heavy saffron fragrance warm spicy animalic and leathery but very jasmine forward yasmina is breathtaking i'll never have anything but the most glaringly positive things to say about yasmina it's such a situational fragrance for me i never wear it but boy do i appreciate it. jewelry i haven't reached for i couldn't tell you i've only worn jewelry like twice but it is much more feminine than yasmina to me Definitely worth a uh, worth a sample. Mephisto is my favorite take on the Silver Mountain Water style scent profile. I prefer how metallic and floral that one is uh, versus, and I love Silver Mountain Water. I have Silver Mountain Water, but Mephisto is my favorite. I love Mephisto. It's actually my favorite Zerzoff fragrance. I have Mephisto and Mephisto Gentle Womo. I got Gentle Womo not that long ago. So let me get try to get caught up a little bit more, and we'll dive into Mango Punch next. So for those of you just getting here, if you want to smell like a Milky Way, Caramel Cascade might be for you. It smells like syrupy caramel, fluffy nougat, and a little bit of milk chocolate. It literally smells like eating a Milky Way. 
Like if you're breathing through your nose while you're taking a bite of a Milky Way, that's exactly what this smells like. I can't get past it. It's exactly what I get from it. Not something I would want to smell like all day. I did see that post. Yeah. Well, I didn't go to the website, but I saw it in their stories. Herod's Parfum Pour. Oh, the citrus in that is so good. That's one of their best fragrances to me. Go strawberry. And see, that's the only one. That one in uh, Orange Dream, Orange Cream or whatever, the orange one. I don't care for that one. It's okay. But that one just doesn't work for me. It does smell like a mar taste like a margarita too. Smell. It does taste like a damn margarita. I had it. How long ago was it? Like two months ago, I tried it. I saw it at a gas station. I was like, oh, I never tried that one. I love all the ghost flavors for the most part. I actually don't like that one. I'm doing uh, I'm doing phase pop today. So I like most of them. That was one I just didn't care for. Ghost Musk. Da -boom. Love the new ink, sir. Looking great. Thank you, sir. Because when you're NWO, you're NWO for life, right? And then got the tropical stuff. All the red is actual like blood because my skin's beat to shit. I'll go back in about two weeks. There's some more shading and touch up that Adrian wants to do. We're going yellow with orange sunburst on the sun. And with the flowers, probably going to do like some pink, purple, and blue. Not going to do any greens. I'll leave everything black and gray. But the sun and probably a few of the flowers are going to go uh, go with some color. But I appreciate that. Yeah. I was, uh, I was at the tattoo place for five hours yesterday altogether because he freehanded this. I brought him some inspiration. I'd like to do something like this with a few different pictures, and he, he freehanded and drew everything on me. Love my tattoo artist. He uh, Same place the night before my daughter and son-in-law came, and they went get some tattoos where I go. Adrian wasn't working, so I was like, yeah, I'll go have fun. I'm going to film the weekly rotation because if I go, uh, there's work I want to get done, and I want to wait till Adrian's at work. So I went Sunday. I went the next day, which I was already planning on doing it this weekend. It would have been great to do it as a group, but my guy was already off for the day, so I didn't go Saturday night. <clears throat> but thank you. Oh, you should see some of the comments. I've already been told that I'm having a midlife crisis today. I've talked I've, the usual. I dress like a 15 year old comment. I've gotten all that stuff uh, for my Ajmal video. Maybe take some of that money Ajmal paid you and go buy some decent clothes. I had a comment like that. <laughs> it's just the cutest stuff today from these little bitches on the Internet, guys. I wouldn't believe. Man. So, yeah, that, I, I see this stuff while I'm at the gym. I laugh and laugh. It's like, man, thank you for the engagement, you morons. Tell me again how you don't like me. <laughs> Hope all is well. Gary's Den, great choice. I already got a compliment today. I'm going to need a spring fragrance. I have none. What's a good recommendation? Always the two that come to mind are my two favorites is John Barbados Artisan Blue. It's actually very green as far as affordable. And then for niche, Aqua Celestia Forte from MFK is my favorite there. It's Lime Pettigrain Mint Leaf. Those are my two favorites. Samples is in. There you go. There's a good way for you guys to check it out. NorCal Sense has samples of Assad Zanzibar. Ooh, uh, try Rain Essence from Bulgari in the man line. That's really good. All right, so guys, I'm scrolling down a little bit. I'm just going to pick a random spot to start on my tag team partner, my main man, Dedrick Kicks. Hope all's well. Remember, when you're NWO, it's for life. That's absolutely right, my man. So I'm going to stop right there. I'm almost to the bottom with it. So I'm going to stay right there. And we're going to go ahead and get into Mango Punch. This is the one I would say I'm most excited about because I'm a big mango fragrance fan, especially in the warmer weather. Now watch, the pear fragrance might be the best one. I mean, any one of these could be the best of the three at any given time. Who knows? Oh, I like the glass. I do like the bottle on this one. Let me... Turn off this autofocus. I like that glass. Has some texturing to it. Nice little metal plate. Says Mango Punch with the Amir logo. It's actually recessed in the middle. It's a pretty hefty bottle. Let's see if uh, cap holds. Cap does hold. Solid cap. Has a little bit of weight to it. It's metal filled with plastic. Let's give it a spray. We'll go on the Lion. Spraying the lion with some mango punch. 
I've got so much ink on my forearms now, and I can just say, we're going to spray on this particular tattoo or this tattoo. That is ripe mango, like more of a green kind of mango. Very ripe. Not super sweet, juicy fruit. More realistic. They are, they are using better oils. They have to be. Their fragrances have gotten so much better. It's a little spiced and ripe, fresh cut into mangoes. Young mangoes. They're not quite there yet. That's why I say ripe. They're, they're not quite there yet to where you really should eat them. Like they need a couple more days, really, like two more days and they'll be just right. That's what I mean. <sighs> Mouthwatering too. Super tropical. Okay, this is going to be the one to beat. I'm just going to let you know now. Let's see if uh, Old Parfumo can pull them up too. Roscoe the Licks are a great choice. That's a great, I mean, it's the GOAT. I firmly believe that when it comes to coconut fragrances, Virgin Island Water is the goat. Everything else wants their version, even if they're not trying to make it smell just like, oh, shit, I just realized I pulled it off. Um, so I got Parfumo just in case. 35 bucks, it is available, but every, like I was saying, everything to me is trying to be Virgin Island Water. Even if they're not replicating the scent profile, they all want the aura of Virgin Island Water. Just my thoughts. Mango, pineapple, blackberry, citrusy accord, Sambac jasmine, Lotus flower, there's your watery note, gardenian iris, vanilla cedarwood musk. I just get this ripe green mango smell right now. Some zest, so that's probably the citrus accord, because nothing spicy here in the notes, but there's like this sharp zestiness. So that's probably the, the citrus accord. If it's a more acidic pineapple oil, then it could be that, but... It's not heavy pineapple, though. But I get more. The blackberry makes more sense than the pineapple right now. This is a tropical just fruit bomb, but it's still fresh and watery. That lotus flower is what's giving it this watery aquatic tone. This is amazing. This is definitely the one to beat. Pear Potion has a tall task ahead to follow this. This is going to be a tough act to follow. Anybody know what this is supposed to be cloning? Because I'm pretty confident this is a clone. Introducing Par Paris Corners Perfumes Mango Punch from Amir. Vibrant unisex fragrance that captures the essence of tropical allure. Immerse yourself in a symphony of tantalizing notes that evoke the warmth of sun-kissed days and the allure of exotic landscapes. They're painting a picture that the scent profile actually matches. Got to give them that. Not like the designers where it's like, you're the modern man on the back of a motorcycle with a shower gel scent. You know, <laughs> that's the kind of shit the designer brands do. So at least it, it matches here. At the top, succulent mango intertwines with the zesty freshness of pineapple complemented by the juicy sweetness of blackberry and lively citrus accord. I think that's a good way to put the citrus accord. This exhilar exhilarating combination creates a burst of fruity vibrance that sets the stage for a captivating olfactory journey. As the fragrance unfolds, the heart notes reveal a delicate floral dance. Sambac, jasmine, lotus flower, gardenia, and iris come together in a harmonious blend, adding a touch of elegance and sophistication. These middle notes infuse the fragrance with a subtle and enchanting floral bouquet. And it's not too flowery, I gotta say. There's a floral tone, but it's not super flowery. It's not a powder bomb or anything like that. The final act of Mango Punch Amir unfolds in the base notes, leaving a lasting impression. Warm vanilla wraps the senses in a comforting embrace while cedarwood and patchouli contribute a woody depth that anchors the fragrance. Musk adds a sensual and lingering touch, creating a memorable, memorable and enticing foundation. If I'm throwing a, well, I mean, I am throwing a rating. Saying if I'm throwing a rating is kind of stupid because I am throwing a rating here. For first impressions, 8.5. Super tropical. Super, super tropical. Where we stand right now, my favorite release from them this year, so far. So last year, because it was a 2023 release late in the year, Care Pistachio was my favorite Paris Corner release for 2023. 
where it stands right now, subject to change, card subject to change for all you wrestling fans out there. Because it's early in the year. It's just early March. This is the one to beat. From Inlook, Pear Potion might come right behind it and be a nine. I don't know. I don't know yet. But this is great. I have a history of really enjoying mango-based fragrances. That seems to be a running joke with me and Chad from A Gentleman's Journey. He's the one that picked up on it. He's like, man, you really like mango fragrances. When I thought about it, like, I'll be damned. I do rate pretty much every mango-based fragrance pretty damn high. Makes sense. So there you go. Here's another one, 8.5 out of 10. I was about to sniff caramel. The floral notes are coming out a little bit more. It is getting a touch on the powdery side, but again, I wouldn't call it too feminine leaning. It does lean a little bit feminine though. Not a masculine fragrance, fellas. But the fruits and citrus accord in here, magnifique. Great for a warm day. It's not too sweet. It's very, very fresh. 8.5 out of 10. Mango punch. This is that jam. Oh, yeah. Almost purchased Scandal, Scandal Parfum Cologne and Elysium Parfum Cologne today. It was a great discount, but I realize that's a lot of money, even when discount is still really warm. I mean, they're, they're great. All five in that line are phenomenal fragrances, in my opinion. Good to see you, sir. Won't be able to watch today, but I had to say hello to you all. Sin of the day was Ralph Lawrence Polo. Timeless. Sin of the night, Armani Diamonds for men. God bless you all. God bless you as well, sir. I hope you had a great evening with your wife. I think it was that Friday. Yeah. Hope you had a great 55th anniversary dinner with your wife on Friday, sir. <clears throat> Bought it from Ross. It's so good for the price. They're just too sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Good to see you, Boz. Wearing Naxos. Great, great honey tobacco. Good stuff. Oud wood. And boy, is this splendid. I agree. Just got lemon dolce. And Ross, you were right. That's some good stuff. I can't take all the credit. Shout outs to Giancarlo. If he happens to be here in the chat, take a bow, sir, because that was he recommended that to me in one of the live streams where we I, I take recommendations from the viewers in the chat to buy fragrances, like shopping on a live stream. And he's like, try this. It's 14 bucks. And I love it. I wear it pretty much once at least once a week out the shower when I just want that just brightness. It's so bright. It's good stuff. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Well, Dan, well at least you're able to be here now, boss. I still need to try it too. New hand tat NWO for life. That's what I'm talking about. I was I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it because I wanted to do another hand tat and I was like, why not? Fuck it. That's what I'm gonna put there. Cause I was gonna put part of this tattoo on my hand, and I was like, oh, I already got rose here. I don't need to go with more plant life on my hand. I was like, I'm gonna put the NWO logo right there. What the hell? Why not? I don't care what people think. Obviously, I got that dude Jizzle right here since I was 18, and I'm never covering it up either. I don't care what people think. It's part of my story, as is the rest of this. You know, I'm a lifelong wrestling fan. This is the most iconic logo in wrestling, most iconic faction in the history of wrestling, in my opinion, of course. Some will say the Horsemen. Some will say all these others. I get all the arguments. That's my argument. NWO changed the business. So. A mango skin clone. Okay. Thank you, Joel. Because I wasn't sure. I know it's a clone of something. I just didn't know what. Wilhelm Parfumery. So mango skin from Wilhelm. Ricky Tomatoes is in the house. What's going on, man? What about Coco Loco? Though I don't no no no. All the coconut fragrances, like I said, even if they're not trying to smell just like Virgin Island water, it's that they want that to be their Virgin Island water because Virgin Island water has this allure and mystique to it when it comes to tropical fragrances. It's like the king of the tropical fragrance mountain, at least in my view. It's the king of that mountain. And they all want that, you know, because it, it gets the recognition across the, you know, just the perfume space as a whole for its greatness by most. Obviously, not everybody feels that way, but a lot do. And look, this is all just my opinion, what I'm saying about everybody. Look, they want their Virgin Island water because it's a very successful fragrance. Usually comes the last Sunday of the month. Yeah, what happened for us this past weekend? Wonder what, what smells after five months. Mango skin. Mm, I don't know. We're going to find out. Pear potion is supposed to be Escada plus pear. Well, I've never smelled Escada, so it's going to be a new experience to me. 
And Maxos enjoying it, just waiting for Fall of Phaeton. Glad you're enjoying them, Boz. Ooh, Care Pistachio. Yeah, that's, that's man, it's so good. It's a guilty pleasure fragrance for me. Just ordered Artisan Blue. Also picked up a decant at O Intense Vetiver. Ooh, be careful with that one. I don't know how you feel about Earthy Vetivers. That one's got kind of a funky opening. It's always, but even now, it's still a challenging opening to me. The dry down's magnificent. That's a classy fragrance. Super masculine, too. Top mass appealing. Um, one that doesn't get any love would be Boss Bottled Eau de Parfums. Quite mass appealing. Uh, it's not as apple fruity dominant um, as the original's DNA, and it's cardamom. You get a little bit of this minty pop. It's got some sage. Gives a little bit of a blue fragrance feel. The way it's uh, it's basically a woody aromatic with some spices. Um, it's actually quite versatile. I would call it the blue fragrance of the Boss Bottles. I don't know how that sounds to you, but it's quite versatile. It doesn't smell like every blue, but kind of does at the same time because of the sage note, the way the sage note comes across. That's one that comes to mind immediately. Bought a 100ml bottle, enjoying it. Every day reminds me of vacations in Croatia and Bosnia. It's beautiful stuff. So those of you that knew I had, uh, speaking of Tom Ford, had ombre leather parfum coming. So where is it? The geniuses sent me the eau de parfum. So I showed them and I said, I'll just keep it. I said, this is my sign that I needed to get a bottle of it. And I'm just going to buy Ombre Leather Parfum from someone else since you can't send the right fragrance out. Uh, but I thank you anyways. <laughs> I said, so happy accident. This was not the intention. It was Tom Ford Eau de Parfum. But I mean, I've been spraying them on. I love the fragrance. I have so many fragrances, niche fragrances of that that smell exactly like this. Where I was like, eh, I'm just going to get the parfum. I don't need to get this. Because when I want that scent profile, I've got a handful of others that are high quality that do the job. Well, now I got this added redundancy. So, but I have it now. It's one of the best leather record fragrances of all time. So, I want to let you guys know about that. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know, man. Let me click refresh, see where we're at over here. So, we're about 42 minutes strong. We got one more fragrance. Got about 140 people right now. I appreciate you guys. 81 likes. We're better than this. We are better than this. Can we get a thumbs up for the new mic? Come on, trying to get rid of that popping bullshit we were dealing with for the last several videos and live streams and the mic disconnecting and all that. Can a brother get a like out of you? You know, just one time for me. Okay, where was I at? Well, they're di very different fragrances, though. Going pretty well. Yesterday was a refeed day, so I was able to eat some carbs. Uh, after a refeed day, I was 191.1 fasted. So not too shabby because I had a lot of carbs yesterday, uh, but I went 10 days without a refeed day. And I'm probably going to be another 10 days to two weeks before she gives me another refeed day. So probably next check in, which is in five days, I'll probably I'm thinking with the you know ramped up cardio because I'm doing 75. I've been for several days now doing 75 minutes on the elliptical facet in the morning, hour and 15 minutes. I'm probably going to be like 186 because I was 189 for check in. Um, 189.6. I think I'm probably going to be like 186 on Thursdays, my next check-in. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, I'll probably be around 186, 187 because I'm pacing right around two pounds a week is what I've been dropping on the scale. But everything's getting leaner and tighter and waist is getting smaller and all those different things. Uh, obviously, strength wasn't down today because I got all the glycogen from all those carbs yesterday, which I'll be able to burn off over the next two days. Um. And then I'll go back to, you know, pushing for the intensity and uh, strength will dip a little bit more once I'm depleted again. But all in all, can't complain. I'll be nice and flat and burning fat again within two days because that glycogen will be gone. So <laughs> so it's basically, I look like two different people when I walk in the gym versus when I walk out the gym pumped up because I'm just the fullness isn't there because I just the muscle bellies are depleted, you know. But that's what you want. That's how you burn fat. You got to be depleted. You want your body to, you know, feed off the fat stores. You want to give it no choice. Thoughts on War Day? I think it's the best of the line, personally. Uh, it's got this piney green meets black currant. The absinthe comes across a little boozy. It's actually a very sensual date night fragrance. It's actually quite good. 
films can degeneration X. There we go. Now, look, I wouldn't say they're the greatest faction of all time. They're an important faction, but I wouldn't call them the greatest faction. I mean, hell, they're running WWE, though. Think about that. Shawn Michaels is booking NXT and Triple H is booking the main roster. So if you factor that in, they are the greatest faction of all time because they're literally running the company now. <laughs> they're running creative for all three shows. So there's that argument. Think about that. Shawn Michaels is running a promotion. Think back to 90s Shawn Michaels, you older fans. You ever thought that dude would be running part of the WWE promotion one day? Running creative? That guy? Which I'm a lifelong Shawn Michaels. I'm a Shawn Michaels mark. I'm Shawn Michaels is the greatest of all time. That's my stance. Started a weekly rotation myself now. Every Sunday, I plan the next week. That way, I can consider where, when, and, and whether. If I want to, I'll give some slide action. I swap on the fly. Happens to me almost daily because I have it pretty much lined up. Like, I wanted to go with Assad Zanzibar because, I mean, I've been testing through the weekend. And then um, I wanted to wear Lamar Lover today. I'm going to wear H24 Herbie Beeves tomorrow. Finally going to get uh, get Zerzhoff in there. I'm a Beal needs a wear. You know, I've been meaning to. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide in Udman around. What the hell? Smelling it the other day, talking about it with you guys. I really wanted to check it out. When I turn and I'm still talking, does it still pick me up decently? Because the other mic used to do a decent job at that. I'm pretty com confident he will. Really? Mutes the coconut in my humble. It, it depends. On, it's the only time I'll agree with batch variations heavily is when it's Creed because certain batches are he lime heavy. And it sounds like you've tried a very lime heavy one. Ooh, I would say Boss the Scent Elixir, scent wise, I prefer. I like that scent better. I can wear it more often. It's not as resinous and smoky, you know? Resinous and smoky makes me feel one of two things cold weather or evenings. Whereas spicy and fruity, woodsy, yeah, I can wear that whenever. Even if it's hot outside, just got to be mindful of how and where I'm going to do that. Looks like, ah, it's not. It's 110 bucks. It's heavy. Yeah, Blue Yetis aren't expensive. That's why everybody uses them. They're quality for the money. 110 bucks on Amazon. They're not expensive. JT, good to see you, my man. One more urban feel. Sounds crystal clear. So it did. So we've got it adjusted good then. I appreciate that. I don't know if you were here at the beginning, Lloyd. We are trying to tweak it and get it right. Because it, I literally unboxed it a couple minutes before I clicked go live. Um, Cause I was on my phone like 20 minutes before the live stream and I saw it got delivered. I said, shit, let me run to the mailbox. Cause I've been dealing with some mic issues. All right. Let me find a decent stopping point. We're going to get into this last one. Opening is not good. I, I actually like the opening. It smells like cut grass to me. I was kind of scared of that fragrance for a while. I thought I was going to hate it. It turns out I actually quite like it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Up and down. So, hey, just stay consistent, Boz. Stay consistent. Do it for you. For no other reason. Do it for your own health and mobility. Oh, man, I'm proud of you. Okay. Gave Sublime to my daughter. Way too fruity. Hey, it's, it's definitely a feminine leaning fragrance. I totally get that. Yes, sir. Mr. Bean's in the house. Valentino Womble Aqua. Sean is the GOAT. We agree on something in wrestling for a change. And I know I skipped ahead earlier, and you probably brought up the acknowledge me thing. So I'll just do it now, Terrence. <laughs> Good to see you. We finally agree on something in wrestling. I'll be damned. So 99% of the time, this is what me and this man talk about. We're big wrestling marks, and we normally have yin and yang opinions about the same topics. So for him to hit me with the Sean as the GOAT, I'm, I'm so impressed right now. I think it's beautiful if you like intensely sweet, very strong fragrances, because it's intensely sweet. I've never tried it. I've never tried it. I can't weigh in on it. Sounds pretty good when turning away. Okay, so it's still picking up pretty well. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that, guys. Okay, sounds nice and clear, even when you turn away. So this was a good move then. That Elgato Wave 3 that I had before was like 140 It wasn't much more. Like, these aren't crazy expensive mics, but they're not super cheap mics. I mean, you get mics for 20 30 40 50 bucks and everything. Um, but, I mean, this is like the most popular mic when it comes to podcasting and, and live streaming and everything, Twitch streaming, all that. It's number one rated for a reason. Logitech's a great brand. Logitech's my webcam. Uh, they actually have a bundle of my webcam with this mic uh, for like $150, $160. It's kind of funny, which this isn't by no means some special webcam. 
but it's okay. It's solid for what it is. Fiero bottle. Oh my God. One of the most beautiful I've ever seen. Fiero, Zerzhov Fiero. That is a beautiful color green too. Darren J. Good to see you. Bottega Veneta, poor Ohm. Justin Copeland would be proud. Yeah, the green. That's a beautiful color green. It really is. This bottle, but green. Yeah, the blue on Mephisto and Gentle Womo. That's just the bottle style makes them look great. The, the different colors of frosted glass. It's just good looking bottles. I mean, even this yellow. When's the last time you saw a banana yellow bottle and thought that's a good looking bottle it's the only time for me you know, whoops sorry about that that hit the mic that was probably loud good to see you crippled figure all right so let's go ahead and get into the last one pear potion we're 50 minutes in we'll typically do around an hour and a half anyways we'll get into this one we'll, we'll cut up a little bit more here then like we normally do All right, pear potion. Supposedly escada plus pear. Never smelled escada. But man, the bottle, this same bottle in green looks good. These bottles look good and they're very heavy, guys. It's a metal plaque. This is thick glass, very thick base. It's even recessed. Cap holds. Cap is metal with plastic filling. Some decent quality here. Paris Corner. Oh, let me turn the autofocus back on. Paris Corner has stepped things up so much. I'm so impressed by them these days. So we sprayed the open area right here where there's no tattoo. That is super juicy and zesty too. It's astringent. It's a little sharp. It's fruity, but not super sweet. It's more of a juicy fruit smell that's not sweet, I guess would be the best way for me to describe this. Mm, this was tough to follow the active mango punch. They might be just as good as each other. This is really good, too. These are going to be great for the heat. They're both very tropical. This is tropical. This has something along the lines of black currant, blackberry, something like that, a darker fruit that's giving a tartness. It's got to be. Like this had blackberry and it wasn't standing out big time, but I would think something along those lines is going on here. Because now it's kind of, and look, it might not even be there. It might just be I'm misinterpreting something else. <sighs> this is tough. I like both pretty much equally. This is a good one. This is a good one. Let's pull up the notes. I'm, I'm quite curious. Oops. Whoa. Why did, how did that go way up there? Well, ended up uh, putting it on the wrong, uh, my bad. Ended up putting the damn thing, oh, and it pulled it down. <laughs> ended up putting the damn thing on the top monitor. That was weird. Have it in stock. 13 people are viewing it right now. Is that you guys? Pear, apple, jasmine, caramel, raspberry. So it's a red, purplish fruit, but... It was some kind of red. I was thinking a darker fruit, so I guess raspberry is what I was thinking because it's got, it's got that tone. Like it's hard to really describe why I thought it was something like that, but raspberry covers it basically. It's very fruity and fresh, but not too sweet. Even though we got caramel and apple and raspberry, even can be very sweet. It's not super sweet. Like I don't think it's any sweeter than mango punch. It's juicy. I, I would say it's the juiciest of the three fragrances that we've smelled here today. This is quite good. Pear Potion is a captivating unisex fragrance that transcends traditional boundaries and invites you to indulge in the enchanting fusion of fruit and florals. Under the prestigious Paris Corner brand, this scent is a testament to timeless elegance and modern allure. At the forefront, the top notes unfold with succulent sweetness of pear complemented by the crisp freshness of apple. 
This delightful combination creates an invigorating and lively introduction, setting the stage for an olfactive journey that's both refreshing and alluring. As the fragrance evolves, the heart notes reveal the floral and gourmand symphony. Jasmine lends a touch of sophistication intertwining with the irresistible sweetness of caramel. This is nuance. This nuance blend adds depth and complexity. I wouldn't go that far. Embodying the essence of, of a sophisticated and versatile fragrance. The final act of pear potion unfolds the base notes, leaving a lasting and memorable trail. Raspberry adds a playful and fruity twist, while musk contributes a sensual and enduring foundation. The seamless interplay of the bass notes completes the composition, creating a scent that's both captivating and memorable. This one's sold out. So two of the three are sold out currently. The only one that's available is Mango Punch, which there's an argument for it being the best one. I haven't rated Pear Potion yet, and I'm very torn. I'm debating on giving it the same rating as Mango Punch. I like it just as much, and it's different. I think it's an 8.5 as well. I like both of the fruity fragrances much more than the caramel fragrance, which just to give you guys a recap, this smells like a Milky Way. Fluffy nougat, syrupy caramel. It smells like biting into a Milky Way. It's very realistic, but I, didn't, I don't want to smell like this all day, but I appreciate how realistic, so I gave it a 7.5. But both of these are fruity, tropical, fresh, refreshing, invigorating, vibrant, and lively. These are fun tropical fragrances. They're both 8.5 out of 10. Great to me. Love the bottles too. These are heavy. These are two more bottles that I wouldn't want to drop this on my bare foot. Mm -mm. Bunch of MFs and cursing and son of a bitches and all that. I'm going to hit you in the foot because it might break a bone. It's going to hurt like a son of a bitch if it doesn't break a bone. I know that's irrelevant, but I know that cracks some of you guys up when I say stuff like that. Because I mean it. This would hurt. So <laughs> don't carry these bottles barefoot or in your slippers, your house slippers. Make sure you have a nice solid shoe on just in case you drop the damn thing on your foot. TLTG tidbit of the day. Wear shoes around heavy bottles. Yeah, they're good. They're good. If I had to pick one, I think I'm still leaning Mango Punch slightly. Slightly. I rate them the same, but if I had to pick one, I'm going Mango Punch here. Damn good, though. Shout out to Aroma Concepts for sending these my way. These two, they'll get some run this summer on beach days. That's when I want to wear these. They, they very, very much speak to me for beach days, which we do during the warm weather twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Unless I'm really busy and got shit going on and we can't break away. But Wednesdays and Saturdays during the summers, the beach days, that's what we did last summer on into the off season all the way to October. Um, so Wednesdays and Saturdays is the plan again this year, barring whatever's going on. But I like these two a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah. I mean, he's already admitted he was. He must have never seen a conversation about it, which it's been documented to death. There's multiple documentaries on the Montreal screw job. Yeah, hell yeah, it was. Ooh, could be. I could turn the game down. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, that would suck to hear me breathing too heavy. <laughs> Sorry. So is this better? So turn the game down a little bit. Thoughts. What's going on, Ashley? It's good to see you. For sure. For sure. More feminine fragrances, but I think they make a couple of masculine. This, neither of these are all that masculine. Pear Potion or um, Mango Punch. But they are very, very nice, I got to say. $5 super sticker from John Easley. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much. Let's see, I'm trying to get close to the bottom. Just got samples, and damn, they have some amazing fragrances. So speaking of day three, I'm going to have Mike on here next Tuesday. So next Tuesday, same time, 4 o'clock Central. Mike from Day 3 Fragrances, perfumer, owner, operator. We'll be on here. We'll be talking about the upcoming release, inspirations behind the brand, and all that fun stuff. It'll be a good time. Uh, we've been working on that the last two days to really ink down the right time. We've been planning on doing this for two years now. 
finally got it down. So we'll be doing that uh, next Tuesday. And damn, I'm glad they're finally shipping it. Good stuff, though, especially Herbal Aquatica. I love that stuff. Mango Crush, Mango Nificent. Some good ones on the way. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Central Hub, good to see you. Murr and Tonka from Joe Malone. HBK was, in my opinion, the greatest in-ring performer of all time. He could do everything and really pull the emotion out of the audience. That's what he was best at. Nobody was better at making the audience give a shit than Shawn Michaels, than Michael Shawn Hickenbottom. He was great at it. Bonnie's my favorite, too. Preach. I'm not a big Mitchell and Ness guy. They kind of fit my hat, my head weird. I don't have that many Mitchell and Ness hats. I'm more of a new era and 47 brand guy. Yeah, that's that's what it is. It's cloning mango skin. Pear potion ordered. Finally, one perk to being in the UK. Caramel Cascades. Not in stock, though. Yeah, because they got a different website. They got the UK European site and the US site that's always in the descriptions when I do a collaboration video when they send me stuff. So they got two different markets that they cater to. Uh, the only person that's ever called me that is Cuba. Cuba calls me Buff Bagwell. That's hilarious. Yeah, Angel calls me that. Shout outs. Join the fun late. Good to see you, Bishop. Mike's picking up background sounds like it's too sensitive. I'm not even amateur when it comes to sound. It's probably someone in the chat who knows speak up people. Yeah, let me know, guys, because I turned the game down. The gain's pr almost, I mean, it's just a hair above all the way down. Let me know. Did that do anything to help the situation? Because after this live stream, I'm going to do some tweaking. and everything. I literally didn't have any time. Like, I was plugging this thing in with, like, three minutes to go before I had to click go live. So, because if I wouldn't use this, we'd have had the usual mic issues we've been having with my old mic. So, so I want to just plug this in and roll with it. And I figured we could adjust on the fly which we've been kind of doing throughout the stream. So let me know, is this better? Somebody, anybody? I await your feedback. Whoops. Live chat. Anybody? Mike's very sensitive, picks up every tap on the table, really? No sound, still echo. No sound. So you don't hear me? Let's turn the gain up a smidge. I tapped on the desk. How about now? Adjust the cardioid. How's this? Yeah, they sure do. But how's this? I changed it. Well, yeah, I'm going to deal with that after the fact. Mike's just sensitive. Worse. Okay. Back to where we were then. My bad. No, he doesn't use a mic cover. It's just like this. Can hear you. Definitely. Yeah, I'm going to adjust it after the stream. Um, I just didn't have time. I didn't have time. So I'll be able to play with some feedback and everything uh, with some headphones on after. And I'll really get it tweaked to where it's good to go, you know. But this is basically what I had it on. I appreciate that, Kicks Griffey. Is it Kicks? My assessment, Kicks Griffey approved. I mean, I could put my arm. I have an arm for it. I could. I mean, or I could do this. I could have it straight up like everybody else and do a live stream like this. Would y'all prefer this? This looks really stupid, doesn't it? I feel really stupid doing this. But we could do this. And I could just move the mic back. See, y'all let me know. <laughs> it's hella clear, though. <laughs> so... So basically, I just need to be closer to it and speak a little quieter, softer tone. Sounds the best. 
So I need to get my Justin Copeland on and have a little sensuality with my voice and just be a bit closer. Basically what you guys are telling me. Yeah, but now it's just sticking straight up. So I'm saying this is not me for sure. So what it is, is I need to speak into the sides of the damn thing. You were fine from the beginning. So everybody's just screwing me up then. <laughs> is this okay like this? Is this doable for now? It's pointing at me. I'm far enough back to where I'm in the frame. TLTG ASMR. Yeah, there you go. I hear your voice fine, but I can also hear you touching the table. It isn't bothering me any. Well, I appreciate that. I'm sorry about that, though. So anytime I do this, it's loud for you guys. I'm sorry. I'll try to be mindful of it. I got my hands down on my chair. Try to be mindful. But I got to keep going back to it to, to move the mouse. Oh, I'm sure. I, I'm going to tweak this later. How's this? I'm not going to do this the whole time, but I'm just curious. We got another one saying TLTG ASMR. Yeah, there you go. You hear it when you watch the playback. Way doable. Small tweaks. It'll be perfect. I've got a ton of stuff on it, but I have a gigantic PlayStation cushioned mouse pad that's this long that everything's on. It takes up most of the space here so i do have that otherwise it would be it would sound like that so yeah i do have that kara good to see you a little bit of a thump just pondering no i haven't even pulled the book out or anything again guys you got to remember we're just kind of doing this on the fly in the live stream because i plugged it up like two or three minutes before we went live because I just got it minutes before the live stream. No, I'm not dropping any bars. Don't eat beans and use that mic. That makes sense. Beans is not in my, my meal plan, so don't worry. Show rolls on, folks. There you go. So are y'all hearing? Y'all must be hearing the mouse clicks then. Because every time I pin anything, I, I click the mouse. I mean, I have the boom arm. I could add it. I'd have to add it over here. All I have to do, because that's where my little small ring light goes. I just have to move it, basically. I can maybe do it underneath. No, probably wouldn't work. I'll figure something out. We'll figure it out. That would be pointless. That's one of the most pointless things I, I could think of, is for me to arm wrestle Jordan. What a terrible endeavor. He's 7'4", four, over 400 pounds, trains twice a day. He's very strong. That'd be pointless. I wouldn't move his arm. And I'm quite strong. <laughs> I wouldn't move his arm. It's got one more intense. Camaro, ohm intense. Neither as strong as I thought, but, I had, but I've had sinus problems lately. I'm going to let him macerate and recheck them. Sounds really good now. Mouse clicks, computer fan. We hear lots in the background. Yeah, the computer's right down there. Well, yeah, I'd destroy George in, a, in an arm wrestling contest. That's different. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not doing any of that. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. Come on now. So this thing's sensitive. Picks everything up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And he's such a nice guy. That's the thing. He's such a nice guy. It He can get pissed off, obviously, but it's uh, it's not easy to piss him off. He's pretty cool, calm, and collected. Has on Selly knows it all from live yesterday. Good content. Shout-outs to my guy, Selly. Yeah, I'll, I'll work on it after. The next tomorrow's stream will be better with the mic, I promise, because I literally just got it. Over the top, turn your cap. 
it should move move the arm just a bit wait it should move his arm a bit it should move its arm a bit gentle giant yes he very much is mm, probably not maybe brock lesnar when he was active maybe brock because brock's really really strong outside of that probably not Ron Breaker is pretty damn strong. But I don't know. I mean, y'all got to understand. Omos is a true giant and really, really strong. The strength that comes with being over 400 pounds in 7'4". 7'3", 7'4". Forgot exactly what, but taller than Shaq. Shaq 7'1". Think about that. I haven't set it up yet. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, it's going to be the new release um, from Mesan Daba Rebirth. We'll be doing that tomorrow. And I have a sorry, I was tapping the desk. <laughs> I have a habit of doing that. Um, plus, we're going to be doing a giveaway for Sovereign, their first release over on Instagram. So you'll have to follow my account as well as their account to be entered. It's going to be continental United States only. I'll be setting that. That'll go live. Uh, when the live stream goes up to when we go live, that post will go up right before. So that's going to happen tomorrow. We're doing a little collaboration giveaway kind of thing. Um, and they sent me out the new fragrance, you know, because I mean, they've sent me all three um, and they get better every release. They swear 10 ways to Sunday. This is their best release so far because Silent Night was great. It was one of the best niche releases last year to me. It was in my top 10. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. It seems to have wowed everybody. I've had smell it too. So we'll see what rebirth is going to be. Yeah, he's huge. He couldn't beat Kane in arm wrestling. Technically, at that time, Kane was the strongest. Didn't know that. I swear, even typing in the chat is wacky today. Ain't just the mic. Not your fault, Ross. Don't get Barry White on us and serenade in the chat. Come on now. That photo with Shaq and his wife. That guy would make anyone look small, but wow. Yeah, he'd probably break an, an Angelman bottle easily. His hands are huge. His hands like that. He makes a 100 ml bottle look like a 15 ml. You see how this 15 ml looks in my hand? That's that's like 50 mls and 75 mls in his hand. Yeah. There. To scale. Quite small in his hands, yeah. Ooh, Ajmal 5 is really good. It smells like a higher quality, denser line of wheat alone. That's the one that I quite enjoy. Sorry, I tapped again. Like I said, bad habit. I got to get conscious of it. Um, yeah, Ajmal 5 is really good. Really good. I would recommend getting it over line of wheat alone. That don't happen often. Yeah, I would recommend it over a lot of week long. Shout outs to Yao Ming. I got still got my two Yao Ming jerseys, actually. Let me click refresh, see where we're at. 122 likes. I appreciate that. We only got 95 in the chat, so everybody's done bounced. We then lost uh shoot, we were at 150, now we're at 95. We've lost 55 people. All good, it happens. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I might have to, you know, if in the event it ever happens, we'll have a good laugh about it. Try both, man. It's super hard to pick up. It's be weird. That big and everything is made for people like three to four feet smaller. Cars, driveways, clothes. Well, he's got the big and tall section plus custom tailoring, I'm sure. Typing is double chat. No, I mean, shit happens. YouTube glitches like that sometimes. I know we didn't even talk about shoes this time, and we lost uh, you know, a good chunk. We lost a third of the people. It happens. It's all good. I think it's once we got down to the adjusting of the mic, they're like, ah, I'm out of here. I don't want to hear this. It's all good. Six feet and 240, by the way, as long as we are on tail of the tape. The tail of the tape. There you go. For sure. 
So, guys, I appreciate you coming to hang out. We got everything covered. I kind of really want to get this dialed in. So I think we're going to go ahead and end it here with an hour and 15 minutes range. Um, I smell ooh in this. Yeah, there you go. Um, so I appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. There's a link in the discount code down below if you're interested. Uh, tread lightly. If you want to sample first, check out somewhere on the Internet that has the samples. Because I know Paris Corner, Roma Concepts, they don't have samples. Um, but I'm sure somewhere is decanting them because they're clearly popular enough to where they're selling out. So if I had to pick one, it would be Mango Punch. I appreciate that. It's because I got a little bit closer. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate very kind words. I appreciate that. Pleasure as always. Right to you as well. See you guys. Y'all have a great one. Make sure to hit the like button on your way out. Um, if you haven't checked out the Assad Zanzibar review, or the Ajmal Blanche 3 review from earlier this morning, please do so. Um, that The Ajmal fragrance video is indeed a giveaway. It is a women's fragrance. Uh, fruity floral, very casual, playful, flirty fragrance. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't know exactly what the content's going to be tomorrow. The live stream will be um, checking out Rebirth, Maison Daba's newest fragrance. So I appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. Hit the like on the way out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.